Hello, boys and girls. We are going to do a drawing today. Uh, we're going to crayon and we're going to end with watercolor. Okay, so the crayons that I'm going to be using, the colors that I'm going to be using um, are going to be brown for my mountain, green for my trees, and orange for my fire because we're going to do a campground themed drawing today since our school has gone with campers theme that's what we're going to start with and our tent is also going to be green okay so we're going to start with our tent and we're going to start um towards the bottom of our page right here and we're going to start with three little lines you're going to go one two three Okay, it kind of looks like a triangle and then with a line down the middle, you're going to go to the side right there and then give yourself another little line, a little swoop for the bottom of our tent. Okay, the tent is going to be like this. We're going to do that and that's going to be our tent. Okay, guys, we're going to color that in real quick so that we make sure that we understand that this is going to be our tent. Okay, and I'm not going to color that part right there. I'm gonna leave it wide open because tents have a little open space. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line and I'm gonna use my brown for making that line. If you have another color to use, that's fine. It's just going to be for the ground, okay? So I'm gonna do my brown all the way down to the end of the page. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and I'm gonna do my brown all way to the other end of the page just like that okay okay we're gonna keep going now we're gonna do our mountain we're gonna use our same brown color and we're gonna go up we're gonna make a triangle shape with our mountain okay, and we're gonna go down very nice okay now we're gonna do our rocks so most of the time we're gonna be putting our rocks black Okay, so we're going to do three little circles, okay, for our rocks. Then we're going to get our orange. If you have a bright orange, that's fine. If you have a yellow, even, that would be great. We're going to do a letter U, and then we're going to do a W, so it looks like fire, okay, guys? Very nice, okay? Simple, easy, okay? From here, we're gonna get our white and we're gonna do some very easy letter S's. These letter S's are gonna make it so that our watercolor doesn't go through, okay? Okay, very simple letter S's. And that's gonna be the smoke coming from the fire, okay? We're gonna go back to our brown. And we're gonna add some details to our mountains. So we're gonna do a line across like this. Then we're gonna do some lines down like this. Just lines down and make sure your crayon is dark enough. See how I'm darkening the colors that didn't go dark enough there? Okay. That's gonna be my mountain. Those are the, the details on my mountain. Okay, some over here. And some at the very top. The next part that I'm going to do are the trees. We're going to add in a few trees. So follow along with me for the trees. We're going to make very simple trees. These are not hard trees to do. We're going to do a line down so we can spend some time water uh, color painting. So one, two, three with our trees. One, two, three with our trees. One, and then three little curves out there. Very simple trees. We're not going to give too much detail to our trees because we wanna do two parts to this artwork, okay? Two, three there, okay? Simple but effective, okay, I like it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very nice, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, there you go. Very nice, super simple. We're gonna grab our yellow. Okay, boys and girls, our yellow is super important because our moon is super yellow in this paint, in this drawing painting. 
Okay, we're gonna do our yellow right here. Make sure that you color in your moon completely. We don't want any of our paint going behind our moon or in the middle of our moon. We need our moon colored in completely. Okay, and then I'm gonna give myself little circles for stars. Okay, give myself a bunch of little stars here. If you remember any constellations from last year, you could add them in. But for now, I'm just gonna add in some stars. Okay. Very simple stars, very shiny stars, yellow stars. And that is our drawing. You know what? We can add a little bit more detail with the brown at the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna give our our floor a little bit of color there. campsite by a lake. Okay, maybe this is a campsite by a lake. So let's add some blue lines here. Maybe we could add some blue at the bottom. Okay. Mm, that looks nice. Some little wavy lines in the middle at the bottom. Okay. Nice campsite by the lake. Very nice. And that is our very simple drawing, boys and girls. We're gonna add watercolor in just a moment. Okay, finally time to watercolor. We're gonna get our watercolor paints. We're gonna have it right above us when we're painting. The first color we're gonna start with is purple. We're gonna add it to our sky, okay, boys and girls? So we're gonna wet our brush very well and we're gonna get our purple nice and moist for our brush. And we're gonna add purple all to the top. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom, but you're going to have your paint at the top and we're going to add purple to our sky just like that. We're going to add purple and blue all the way across. You see how it's not going over our crayon okay, it's not going to paint where our crayon is. And we're going to continue on with purple and we're going to add some blue on top of it in a little while. Continuing to paint with our purple, we're going to get our brush. We're gonna add more water to our paint if our paint is drying out already. I know mine was. And then we're gonna to continue to add purple to our sky. The purple is gonna dry darker, guys. So don't think, oh no, it's too light. And we're gonna add a lot of blue over it too. Make sure not to get any purple into the mountain because our mountain is going to be colored brown. And we're gonna be very quiet, boys and girls. Okay, we're gonna continue painting our purple sky. Okay, we're gonna paint over our crayon because it will not add on to our crayon. Okay, filling in the sky with purple. Super simple painting. Okay, you're gonna get your brush and you're gonna fill in your sky with purple and you're gonna paint right behind the trees. So don't think that this paint is not gonna paint over the trees. It's gonna paint right behind it, which is what we want. We want our sky to be purple. Follow it down and give it a curve there. Okay, perfect. Next side. Okay, be very careful around the mountain so we're not painting in the mountain. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush so I can start adding on the blue. So we're gonna get our blue nice and moist and make sure to add enough water to it. And then we're just gonna add different parts of blue. So mix it into it. Make our sky a little darker. More water. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of blue on my mountain. More water in our blue. A little bit darker. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, all the way across. Okay, very nice. That looks good. A little bit more blue on this side. So we're gonna let that dry and move on to the mountain. Make sure to clean your brush really, really well. We want all the blue out of our brush or our mountain is gonna look a little funky. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brown. Okay, we're gonna add brown to our mountain. We're gonna get our brush very wet. Okay. Continuing on, painting around our fireplace. And you see how that white is just not showing through, so it's perfect. Perfect, we're almost done with the mountain. Make sure not to touch too much into the blue or it's gonna flow into your brown mountain. Okay, very nice. And we're done with the mountain. Now we're gonna add a little bit of blue to the bottom of the water here. Okay, I already got a little speck there. We're gonna wet our brush. We're gonna clean off all the brown. We're going to add it to our blue paint and we're gonna go across right here at the bottom. Across right here at the bottom for our blue paint. And then our painting is done, guys. For all the BV campers. Okay, you're gonna clean your brush. Okay, I'm gonna use a tissue to get this off my crayon. You know, it just glides off because the crayon is wax. Okay, there we go. And we're done. Oh, you know what? I think I need a little more brown next to that fireplace. A little bit of brown. I'm gonna start it up here. I'm gonna go down. I can get close to that fireplace there. There we go. Oh, got a little bit into the blue. And since my napkin is still here, soak that up on both sides. And then I can go over it with the blue. I'm sorry, the brown again. There you go. Very nice. And that's going to dry.